Hello everyone, and as always, welcome back to Strategy Gaming Dojo, where we find, learn, and play one more turn of the great strategy games, and this is certainly one of them. Decisive campaigns are Den's Offensive, and we are playing the Grand Campaign as the Axis. We've started moving down the map. You can see it's still part one of day one. Uh, it is the 16th of December, 600 hours, so we're getting started early in the morning here. Uh, we have moved the 89th infantry division the 272nd we have also moved the 326th and the 277th we fired off some rockets the nibble Warfers. uh and now we are down into now this is part of first panzer corps uh even though it's infantry of course and now we're down into this infantry here which is the 12th and you can see that the 12th volksgrenadier division we've also got all of this motorized up here which is also the 12th this is the 12th ss though oh there's the headquarters uh the 12th ss is sitting here ready the motors are purring out here now a few things i always like to address you know questions and different things that have been commented on and whatnot uh, yes i do understand that is not you know two ss i know it's the second ss panzer tour sometimes i just kind of shorthand it now i've got some friends from uh, where i grew up that were in the 80 181st airborne division and i can tell you they are particular about that kind of thing uh, and so I do understand you pointing out uh, when I, you know, the nomenclature, I don't get correct. I, I do understand. There's probably nobody in the world uh, still alive that said German naming conventions more than I have between this and playing uh, War in the East 2. So, yes, I do know that's the second SS. Uh, I will make sure I try to call it that. Sometimes I just shorthand it to SS, but uh, I won't do that anymore. Um, the other thing is someone pointed out that these parts two regiments are battalions yes they are that is 100 percent accurate so you see the one little slash two little slashes for the 48th and then you see its artillery here all of that makes up a regiment and each one is a battalion again absolutely correct uh you know sorry if i shorthand things or i say parts uh for some people that might not be as familiar with uh, the, how these break down but yes they are brigades that is absolutely true uh another thing that came up was about artillery and whether we should be firing all of our artillery that we want to go into a certain hex does it make a difference it's a good question and one that we want to get answered up here up front now my understanding just having played that our court scenario is that no there is no advantage to firing at all at one time as a matter of fact if you do too much into one it it's possible okay let me back up if you put too many attacks from the ground into one hex at a time you can have kind of an o kind of the same idea as an overstacking penalty now that wouldn't seem to apply to artillery i mean the basic idea is you can only kill things one time right and so they lessen the impact the more you add into something now that's pretty high you'd have to have i don't know a lot of these uh, brigades attacking at the same time for that to come into play but my understanding with the artillery is you can fire one at a time uh, and it's not going to make a difference uh, because I don't think you get a concentric bonus for the artillery. So one of the reasons we like to attack with multiple units from different directions is you do get a concentric bonus. And it makes sense if these guys were catching fire from here and from here, that could be confusing. It could cause all kinds of order problems. Uh, you know, they're firing from the back. They're firing from the front. With artillery, it'd be a little different, right? The minute you hear the artillery coming down, you run for cover. Uh, does it really matter, you know, well, I guess you could, you could make the argument they have to run for cover multiple times or something. But let's just take this artillery. So this is in range, right? And better yet, let's just go to the hex and go to the hex stats and do ranged attack. And you can see all of the things that could possibly attack this from range or into that hex with range. Let's put uh, one of the uh, rocket battalions in there, okay? And we look here, you know, this is line of sight and you've got the other things. You can see here, as was also pointed out in the comments, when you're firing into heavy woods, 
you get a massive penalty. You want to be hitting things that are in the clear. So heavy woods and urban, you want to try to avoid, especially with mortars. I mean, mortars just aren't going to do much at all into an urban environment or heavy woods. So something to keep in mind there. You want to be uh, hitting with artillery or your rockets, things that are in the clear, maybe light woods, something like that. Um, but let's just add more in here and see if we get any kind of concentric bonus. And I'm not seeing one or any kind of multiple firepower bonus uh, popping up here. You know, we are, the attack is going up, but there's none of the modifiers are going up. So again, I think that you can fire these one at a time. And hey, I mean, I'm new to the game. I played the uh, introductory scenario. We've been playing this a little bit, but I don't see where you get a bonus from multiple artillery into the same hex, firing it all at once. I, I think that you can do it one at a time, but again, open to be told I'm wrong, certainly. As always, it's all about learning the game and learning it the correct way. I want to give you guys the information, you know, as I have it or how I understand it anyway, so that you can enjoy the game yourself. So anyway, we're down here now into first SS Panzer, and I really think we'll just get going with the 12th here. Now, another thing that had come up is, now we've fired, you know, a decent amount of this artillery back here. But another thing that did come up is, why move your infantry first? Of course, German doctrine was to get the motorized going first, open the hole, get through the hole, or the gap in the lines, if you prefer, and then move the infantry in to fill that later, you know, to block off any kind of uh, breakdown of the gap, etc. The, the only reason I'm doing it this way right at the start now, eventually this motorized is going to get out and away from us to some extent, right? It can just move a lot faster and we're trying to move down roads. A big reason I'm just trying on the first part of the first, you know, day here to move the infantry out is because frankly, I don't want to lose panzers. I don't have to lose or other good motorized assets when I could just lose a few Volks grenadiers instead and uncover things until we get our recon kind of set and we know where things are. I mean, we have a lot of map that just has not been reconned at all, you know, at all. I mean, anything 20 or 30 miles back is just not been reconned. And so I just want to make sure we don't run into some kind of trap, lose an entire battalion of, pan of uh, Panthers or something like that, because I'm a little too willy nilly with the motorized. As we move on, we will try to follow German doctrine a little better, uh, you know, and we can use the Kampf group uh, here to also, you know, they are a motorized infantry group that can move faster than the regular motor or the regular infantry. So we will move them out that way. OK, let's get going. Enough of my chit chat, but I do want to cover those things because that's the whole purpose of this, really. Uh, OK, one thing I do want to do is come up here and get a little covering force going. So, you know, because all of this part of the 12th SS Panzer down this way is going to be coming down either down this way or maybe down this road but I think we're going to try to get it down here to this main road if we can now we've kind of determined there might not be many Americans here and one thing I did want to do is go to the cards and play a grief team card okay and so let's hit that and play the card and how is this going to work these are Germans that will dress in American uniforms and sit out here uh, and cause and sow confusion. But they may also give us some information about where the Americans are, right? Why don't we go here into this hex? So if he's got anything, eh, we've kind of uncovered that a little bit. How about right there, actually? Right behind this first town that's here. Let's play the card there. Uh, the mission has been launched, so that cost us one PP here. And let's see wh what happens. Uh, do we get any info? Do we not get any info? Now we have a grief team back here. Again, I'm not sure, you know, did we uncover much here? It looks like we uncovered these two hexes. All right, well, that's good to know. We can come off this ridge. Now, we doesn't look like we... Uh, and if we look here, recon hide, we wouldn't know if anything's in there. We don't have more recon than hide, uh, but here we do. And so we've uncovered this just a little bit. 
okay, well, it was worth playing. Uh, and now we've got a unit that's worth, you know, four combat value and has movement points. Oh, we can, we can move this thing. Well, I don't care if it gets destroyed. Not really. I mean, what, you know, interesting. Okay. So we're in the heavy forest. Why don't we go here? Okay, well, we've uncovered an American unit there. Why don't we go here? Okay, we took some fire. We actually didn't lose anything, though. Uh, we've got 30 uh, in the grief here. You can tell me if I mispronounce it. Uh, grief, maybe? Grief? 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 I don't know. Uh, Jeep cap. Oh, we have six captured Jeeps and 30 guys back here behind the line. But we're uncovering things. We got hit out of that town. And so now we know that. Cool. Well, let's keep moving around here. I wouldn't mind getting over here, but we can't go through town, obviously. We took a little uh, intercept fire there, but took no losses. These guys are slippery out here. Okay, we can't go any further. That's it. Uh, but we do have something now sitting here. And what's our recon on this? Uh, it's not very high. We don't really have anything else um, that I'm seeing that we could potentially play. No, not rear area. Air support, that's not going to do anything for us. Yeah, we don't have anything else to, to uncover any more recon. All right, let's get the infantry going. Now, we still have these Nebel Warfers back here, but these are going to need to move. It's not in range. You know, we looked at this before, uh, but this is a range four. All right, so at the very least, we need to get these guys moving up here. Where do we want to put them? I mean, up on this ridge would go down to him, but is that really where we want to go? Who are these guys attached to? Let's find out. Sixth Panzer Army. Okay, uh, maybe we'll come back to them. Although, gosh, if I'm going to bombard something, I'd like to get it going. We could get them up here on this ridge. We could get them up here. One, two, one, two, three, four. They would need to at least be there. Okay, uh, we'll think about that for a minute. Oh, there is one other thing I want to point out. Let's go to this unit that I'm about to move, and let's just go to unit. I wanted to show you this, unit detail stats. Now, we're going to get a lot more into supply, uh, but you know this, this is where you would find it for the individual unit. Weight and carry costs could matter. We may need to motorize these, put them on trucks. Unit replacement stats, all right? We're missing 70 infantry. We request 70. We won't know till we go through a logistics phase whether we'll get that or not. But the one I really wanted to show you here, and we need to start paying attention to this, uh, is the unit standing orders here, all right? And this is for replacements. Units receive, so this would be priority. This is for unit replacement. Let's just read this really quickly. Unit only receives replacement troops as strength drops below 100% of its ideal TOE. Well, we're obviously 70 troops below that TOE. That's why we're requesting them. See, we're missing 70. We're saying we want it to be at 100. If it's anything below 100, we're requesting troops. As we get more down into the game, we may want to drop that to, let's say, 75 or whatnot. Supply. This is really cool that you can do this. I, I will have to look at the divisional level if we can set it for all of them at the divisional level. But for supply, unit only allowed to receive up to 100% of supplies requested, 75%. If we start to get supply problems, we'll have to look at this. Uh, intercept fire. Unit is forbidden to use intercept fire. 66. We've got 33. This is the default. Unit is allowed to use intercept fire in greater than 33% mode, which means it has to have at least 33% effectiveness of its weapon, which is distance modifier times line of sight modifier for it to initiate intercept fire. Interesting. Well, we don't know what our bullet situation is going to be, so we probably want to leave it on the default. And then finally, um, this is retreat, right? Now you can set that also down here, these two, intercept fire, retreat. But supply and replacement, I really like this system. Supply and replacements are over here in unit standing order. So every time you click on a unit, you can see what it's missing, what it's requesting based on what we have replacements on, supply. And we could make, you know, if we get a Panzer division or something, or a Panzer, uh, brigade screwed up, we may want to put 
it on priority and make sure they get replacement tanks. So just something to keep in mind there. Uh, okay, okay, are we ready? I'm gonna keep those all in default here in the morning of the first turn. Now we're gonna move off this ridge. So right now in the hex, we're at a height one. I'm gonna move down this road, at least to this, which looks like, is that, is that different? Oh, that's heavy forest, okay. Uh, but it's got these marks in it. What did it take, some artillery fire? All right, so let's get moving down this road here and just kind of, you know, we want to block this unit from coming this way, block this unit, you know, from maybe hitting us, you know, getting around and hitting us from the rear. Let's go here. We do take intercept fire, but as you can see, we don't lose anything, so that's good. Now then, here, I'm going to imagine up on this ridge, he's got something. Maybe I'll stay there for a moment. So that's the 48th. We've got another unit from 48th here. I may just leave him here. Uh, what is this? This is a height level one. We're on a height level one. We could move him in, you know, to the kind of deep woods and move him off this road. I do this and it's it's heavy woods. I always say deep woods because of deep woods off uh, the, the mosquito repellent. Uh, but it's heavy woods, heavy woods. We could move into this. What is this? Oh, this is plains. That's heavy forest. Okay. Um, so this is plains, even though it's got a little forest station in it. I really don't want him to be there. I could move him here. What I want to do is get a blocking force in front of this road, what really in front of this road, uh, and block anything from coming through here. So I think I am going to move into this hex, even though we're probably going to get some intercept fire. Let's see. Nope, we don't. Okay. And now these guys can really move down this road and not worry about anything's going to get behind them. Uh, we've got Ponzer Jaegers. We'll probably send that down with the motorized to help a little bit. Uh, that was the 48th Regiment, uh, and we've moved all brigades in that. Okay, the two infantry and the one artillery already fired. Okay, great. We've got the headquarters back here. We should probably make sure these guys are all in command. Uh, let's move him down the road, although we may want to go this way. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. He could be here. Is this a town? No, Light Forest, Niehoff. All right, I think I'm going to move him forward to Niehoff. What else does he have here? Let's go to the stack and mini. Uh, oh, he's got the Fusiliers here. Okay, excellent. So let's move this guy. Where was it again? Here? Is this Niehoff? No, this is Niehoff. There we go. Uh, excellent. Okay, let's move him up there. Uh, we'll see if he takes any return fire. Let's move him on the road. Want to get as much of this in command as we can while also being in a town. Put him with the Ponzer Jaegers. And then finally, got to make sure. I keep losing Niehoff. Uh, good Lord. There we go. Yeah, he finally took some intercept fire. He takes no losses, though. So I, I think they're shooting mortars out of this deep forest here. Well, that's going to be hard. I mean, he's not going to have a whole hell of a lot of line of sight out of that thing, right? Uh, so we're okay. And now we've got the Fusiliers back here. They might be nice to put up as this fields. I don't really want them in fields. This, uh, the 89th, I'm going to move down the road. Why don't we go ahead and do that? Um, 89th, moving out here, Volksgrenadier Regiment. Now, what is this? This is heavy forest. I'd like to get up on that um, because he's on the plains here. He's the furthest this way. Well, not really. We've got more of this back here. Okay, I am going to move him right up here into the heavy forest and start trying to kind of surround this infantry um, bit. We take no intercept fire there. Hell, we can get around and behind him. Now, that might be an idea because he's probably not going to want to move this way, but I really want to protect the 12th SS that's going to be moving through here. So maybe not. Maybe not. I'll think about that. The Fusiliers, I think I'll just move them straight up here with the headquarters. Switch them over on the road there. I'm going to leave them there for a moment. Okay. Um, so then we've already fired the art artillery for the 89th. 
and then we've got this other portion of 89th and let's move now see we can get this guy you know we could really get moving here a little bit but I don't want to get too carried away uh, again it's just the morning of the first turn what is this fields that's heavy forest that's heavy. okay we're running into a lot of heavy forest here of course the roads through now somebody said about moving all of our motorized down these roads we will start to get penalties on the roads that is very true and that was a very good and fair point uh, so we'll have to be careful with that how far to go we've got what do we have back here we have the 27th regiment still to move I really want this to all be kind of a blocking force down in this so that, you know, the motorized can get through. But we're going to have to take some infantry to clear this out, I would imagine. We know something's in there. Uh, we just really don't know what yet. Well, let's move him one more to the southwest. And then maybe click him up on this road. Oh, okay, there's a unit, so I'm glad we got a blocker there. All right, that looks good. I'm going to leave him right there for now. I don't think we're going to move that. Uh, that looks fine. Um, we have no idea what this is. If we look at the hex stats, we have better recon than hide by 13, so we know it's in there, but we have really no information on it whatsoever uh at all because we you know we just not high enough recon score to get over the top there we have some anti-aircraft back here we have the uh rockets we can move the rockets up i wish we could get a little elevation over this looks like the only place we could do it is either here or here but i mean that's into the heavy forest with snow up here there's no way they would get a shot off they may not here either but they're moving down a road at least Okay, uh, now we've got some engineers. Now, he may try to blow up. Well, I say he may try to. There is a blown bridge right there. I saw that before we started. We've got this uh, engineering group up here. I don't think they're going to be able to deal with that. I think what I'm going to do instead is actually move these engineers all the way up here. Now, they are connected to the 12th. They may be a little out of command, but I'm going to move them up here because I would, well, do we care if they repair this bridge? We're already around it. We're not, we may not bring anything down it uh, because we can't this turn. There's no way we're going to repair that in time. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to bring them up here anyway on the off chance. I'm going to let them sit right up here. We'll see what this American uh, group does. If they move back, we may come up here and repair this bridge. We'll see. But that's why you have the engineers. If you look at the uh, unit stack here, you can see repair. That's all we'll have to hit if we get into this hex. But for now, I'm going to leave them here and think about it <laughs> okay uh, we may have to come back and do a little cleanup as we go along now we really haven't used this road much at all not yet man these guys who how you know to go for this supply source but they do have the bridge here we could go down this road with these guys but man we get into some real heavy forest there we do have the motorized back here, though, just something to keep, you know, we've got them on the other branch out here, so something to keep in mind. We've got anti-tank with the 12th here, artillery's back here. We've got the 27th kind of sitting back this way. Let's get them moving up, and we may as well take them down. To, uh, I don't want to use the road, though. Um, this road isn't going to get overused, so let's go this way. But we would use it here. Maybe we take these guys through the heavy forest, even if they don't get exactly where I want them to go yet. How would they go this way? Well, they would get up on the road there. They could come here, but I really want them in this hex. Uh, well, okay. Um, let's bring them here first. No fire yet. And then we come here still take no intercept fire and now we know exactly what's in this hex uh 54 to 34 we're 20 over and now we know a 56 unit well that's not crazy strong i mean i'm not saying it's 
a bad unit or something, but it's not crazy strong. If we bring some of the KGs down here, uh, we should be able to clear that out and maybe really get rolling. Now, they've probably got something in every town. But what I'm aiming for is this uh, minor supply. Is that minor or medium? Medium supply base. That's what we're going after. So, okay, good to know. Um, here's another part of the 27th. We've also still got the artillery to fire. And where do we want? Now, they can't see. They're going to go downhill off of this kind of uh, mountain area and we're not going to be able to get them very far i may actually come down here and inspect this town because i'm going to want to move most of this up the road is there anything in losheim well we're about to find out i don't think so what uh we would know it there's nothing there so we're going to take this infantry and move it into town assuming oh well, let's see Hey, we're in there. Okay, perfect. So this part of the 27th is in town. We still have the artillery to fire. What is this hex? Fields, they're completely uncovered down there. He's in town. Uh, he's in deep forest. I think we'll fire at the cavalry, even though I generally don't like to go at harder assets with uh, this. Now, what is this telling it? Indirect fire line of sight bonus modifier. Okay, if you have good line of sight by any unit on the target, indirect fire gets a bonus. Okay, excellent. 25%, 372, no return fire expected. Well, let's give it a shot, see what we do here. Okay, that didn't turn out terrible. Well, that really didn't turn out terrible. 10 GI veterans, 5 of the half tracks, the M3, and 1 M8 Scott. Wow, that, that's some really good regimental arty there. That was fantastic. Um, okay, we have more of these Nebelwerfers back here. You can see them here. Uh, Werfer, well, we'll just call them Werfers. Fine. Uh, we've got this anti-air against, uh, it's the 12th. Okay, we could put it up here. We could put it you know, up here to protect all of this artillery or this artillery here. What I think I want to do is move it forward gingerly, not the Werfers. Let's put this forward and we'll put it forward one more. This puts it out. Did I really just do that? Well, I was going to move them up there anyway, eventually. Uh, I, 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 I thought I flipped that over. That's really what I was just thinking about. All right, let's move the AA up there. That's where I was going to move him anyway. But the the Werfers, now what kind of range does he have? We'll see. This is the 150. What kind of range is that? That's a four. Okay, so I would have had to move this forward anyway. Uh, he needs to be within four. Now let's rain fire down on the forest. What do you say? We could shoot it into town, but we've got more. So why don't we just rain fire? Now, again, we're going to take that penalty, heavy forest, uh, it's negative 70% for that. You would think with these, with the rockets, maybe it's set a fire or something, but these are deadly as hell. Um, anyway, I mean, you can see even with the big, big penalty, let's cancel for one second. Just look around. Where else would we fire into? We could fire into town here. And you see, well, that's better. That's negative 40 into a rural village. This is where we're going to really hit our then the with the Werfers. Let's do that because we would love to clear this out and get the main road cleared. All right, let's do that. Let's hit that. Do we do any damage? None that we see. They've got 32 GI Greens, 70 Veterans, 20 Bazookas. Wow, I'm really surprised. But we did take down their readiness. The, their experience went up. Their morale and entrenchment, uh, that all went down. Okay. Uh, if we wanted to continue to hit that, okay, this would be one, two, three, four, up to the infantry there. Uh, one, two, three, four. We could move this up to the road here and let that fire and just keep firing into town. If nothing else, we may take the readiness down to almost zero, even if we're not getting kills there. Uh, oh, well, we did this time. Excellent. 30 GI Greens, one on the truck, two on the GMC trucks. We took this down to 
Well, now it's saying it popped back up, but 89, 123, okay, cool. Well, let's hit that sucker over and over. What else might we want to hit? We could really devastate this cavalry unit potentially uh, with one. I mean, we've got a lot of them back here. Uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, I'm just going to move him up here on this road. All right, and let's let fire. Again, the rural village penalty, but let's see what we can do here. Okay, we take out a little bit less there. Two 60 millimeter mortars, that doesn't hurt. And one truck, his readiness goes down. We're just going to keep blast, blast, blasting. I mean, if you look at it here, the situation, this is the major road up to that supply depot. Uh, and then this major road continues on up to Vames down in the Ligonville and then down into St. Vith if we wanted to, you know, head down this way for some reason. But I'd probably keep going up to Malmody and just keep going. I mean, shit. I said we want to vector up to the northwest. This takes us, this road takes us all the way to Spa, which is... Can I, can I really not find this? Where is it? Where am I? Where the? Oh, there it is. Spa. Uh, so, I mean, we're getting back, you know, I mean, we're heading towards Liege Way, uh, you know, back into this part of the map. If we wanted to come up that way, maybe. I don't know. The Germans mainly just tried to go forward in the center, or at least that's where the bulge really developed, and they never got going north very well. Uh, maybe we'll we'll do better. We'll see. Um, okay, back down in here. Uh, more Werfers, potentially. We've got some back over here. I don't want to use them all until I really know what we're dealing with. But you can see we've, we've fired the artillery. Down here, we've got the Werfer artillery anti-air. We have this anti-tank stuff here. We could put it in town here in case we get some kind of counterattack into town. But I think I'm going to leave him there. And I think the Panzerjäger there for now. For now. Now, what does this attack look like? Uh, if we wanted to do it, not great. It's one to one. All right, we, that would be into the deep forest. Do I want him to go any further forward? Get across the river here. You can see the river. This is where the bridge is blown. So these guys can go this way. Interesting. Okay. Uh, woo, boy, that's a tough call because he may get some intercept fire out of that hex. We've still got these guys back here. I will start to move them forward. I mean, they're completely out of range for anything now. We may actually just move them this turn. You can move all of these to march mode, I guess. Um, I said their range was four, right? I want to make sure that's true. Uh, four. Uh, because we could rain fire down here into the forest from two, three, four. So we could come here. Let's do that. I just don't want to mess with the road too much. And let's try to rain fire down into the heavy forest here. Again, we take a terrible penalty, but we got to start softening that up or get it out of the way. Uh, we could also pin it here, but I don't want the infantry getting too far behind. So now this road is already getting a little uh, roughed up, um, but we don't need it for anything else, I don't believe. Nope, we don't. Uh, do we come here or do we come down here on this mountaintop? But nothing would be in range there. The only place we can use it this time really is here. Now, 6th Panzer Army, where the heck is that? We may want to get these guys in command range. There's six Panzer, the headquarters. Okay, we've also got 150th Panzer back here, the brigade. My goodness, we got a lot of stuff. Uh, <laughs> that's fine. I love it. Uh, yes. Can we even get the? Can we even get up here to get these guys in range? Doesn't look like it. We may leave that here this time i'm going to click off of that he's now in movement mode and we could move him forward here we'll see what the you know what happens i just wanted to see if we could potentially get him in range so now we've got a five here what's in the hex we've got a stack of 55 oh that's fine and then i guess we'll just bring the last one up here let's do it okay 
and when we do this let's go ahead click there and we'll go get that other noble warfer or the warfer that is here that's the other one that can fire that's in our same hex all right well this time we'll shoot them together how about that uh, they're taking a huge penalty but this is the oh wait a minute Yes, this is what I was talking about. Artillery overstack modifier for attack values. So we get a negative three and a ne negative one for the overstack. So it does have it for artillery. So the re again, the reason is, is, you know, as opposed to the, you know, a one strike being kind of a surprise, you run for cover, maybe you get hit before you get there. If you're firing both at the same time, uh, there's going to be some reduction for each one the damage they're going to do because they're firing them together. Everybody's running for cover at the same time. Uh, okay, I'm going to fire them one at a time then. Attack. Let's hit that. We take out one truck that we know out of. And now those are at zero. And let's fire the second one. Attack. All right, we take out a little bit more. Supposedly his readiness is down to 78. He may just drop back this time. I mean we'll see one of the reasons i want to move up here is just not give him a place to come over here let's say and i may still do that it seems unlikely he's going to move through here on a river uh but i don't want to use that bridge too much in case some of the kg i want to move through here but then the problem with that is they may get the intercept fire i'd rather that that battalion get it okay <laughs> that was a long explanation we have a lot of kg back here uh, this is first SS core. You can see the number of units. Now, the second time through this map, we will have moved everything up, and you know, it'll. I think it'll move quite a bit faster, or at least I hope it does. I want it to certainly. Uh, but I'm having a good time looking at all this, if I'm being honest. We have the 388th back here. That goes to Six Panzer Army as well. You can see they've got quite the range on them. It looks like we've got cavalry, anti-tank. We've got uh, our own airborne units here. The Uh we don't have anything you know, to drop them with. We've got bad weather. We're going to have to do that with cards. So we don't really have anything to do with those other than treat them as infantry right now. Anything else I want to move in this division? Well, not yet. The anti-tank Panzerjägers, we may leave here for a turn. We don't seem to have you know, any armor that's directly in our way. I can't move him anymore. I could move that. I could put, nope, I can't move him anywhere. I could move him, but I don't want him on this road. I want to use both roads. All right, let's go back here and grab the KGs. Uh, do we move there? Do I get up on this hilltop here? Or do I just say screw it and get the heck out of here? I think we're just going to keep, we're just going to move straight down here. Um, but I may want to bring the armor through first. That's actually a good question. Uh, when we look at the stack, that total stack in this is 185 when you put them together. So 90 and 90, uh, approximately 92, something like that. Comp group is 91. Okay, well, they're all about the same weight then as far as stacking goes. Uh, but when they move down this road, you can see here the yellow. Now, yellow is not terrible yet, but it is going to cause some problems. I also have to look and see if these guys I want to loop around this way potentially and bring these guys through here. Uh, that's a good question. Where does this major road yeah it just keeps going up north and west interesting okay well let's take the first one down here and get it moving and i am going to do the kgs first and so let's see how much we burn up this road and he comes through here he is going to pass by this guy now i probably could you know be back here but i'm going to be moving other things there he takes no intercept fire he can keep going. He does take intercept fire there, but we lose nothing. Okay, we still have 46 action points. So let's keep him going there. He takes no fire there. And then 
ultimately, wow, we got a long ways down here. Let me zoom back in. So this is Kraus uh, of the 12th SS. He's moved all the way down this road. We've got some, you know, already here kind of uncovered. And we got a long ways down here. Okay, excellent. And also we drew some intercept fire here. So they're going to start running out of bullets. I mean, they can't just do it every unit that goes by. And he took no losses. Uh, excellent. Now, this is a recon type group, right? Um, cool. Let's look at their officer, by the way. This is Cross. Uh, okay. He's good on the offense, 60. We could give this guy speed. He's recon and try to get him up into this area. Let's do it. Let's play speed. That's 10 points, though. Gosh darn it. I'd rather save that for attacks. Um... Well, he can get all the way to here, but I would like to give him a little extra oomph. Yeah, that's fine. We're just going to have to move him down here. So let's get the... I guess I could have moved the recon down here first. Uh, is he going to take any return fire? He does, or intercept fire, but no losses again. So their intercept fire has not been particularly effective and I'm going to put him right there for well he can't go any further so I guess he's going to be there for good at the moment now we have more but we also have uh the comp group but we have how many more oh there is an engineering unit pioneer unit that could come up here and help there but I really want to keep all this together do we have any more comp groupas back here see i mean we have these i guess they can move this way but do i have anything that's infantry like over here not really and i wonder if i should move him up here uh again it's a broken bridge not nah, i'm gonna bring him down here um i'm gonna keep these guys going on the inf well they're motorized but the more infantry like things they've got 30 360 ponzer grenadiers they've got the half tracks They've got 90 SS Pioneers, okay. Uh, they do have some tanks. All right, let's move him down here, here, here. All right, let's look at this hex now. And the stack is 159. You just don't want to go over 200. So that all looks good. Fantastic. And then we've got a mech group here that can go all the way here and pressure this town um first mech through let's do that um let's just go here first okay that looks fine didn't get any intercept fire there that all looks good so he's down the road now i really ah, no i'm gonna keep i'm gonna keep all of 12th here moving down this road uh here's another mech unit you can see 99 now we're probably not going to attack into this town uh, we're not going to get that carried away. And now you can see they can start moving less as we get out here because the road has been used. Well, I don't think we really had much of a choice. I guess we could bring some of this this way, though. Tell you what, I'm going to move this guy across this bridge. I'm not sure if this is a great idea. Well, okay, we saw what was there. Back here, we've got the Panthers. And we'll kind of let them fall in Panzer fours. So one has Panthers, one has Panzer fours. We've got Stug, we've got more mech units. Gosh darn it, this is powerful. 810 SS infantry. They show us 99, but I think it's got to be a lot, hell of a lot more than that. Uh, okay, well, we'll bring the next one. We've got 25th. Okay, I just don't want to mismatch these. All of these are attached directly to the division. This 25th is a regiment. Okay, let's make sure they all stay together. Down here you go. All right, so we're getting all of this motorized out on the roads, and we're going to try to jump over to this main road here eventually. We've got Germans dressed up as Americans that are behind the town. God, I love it. Uh, engineers. I'll probably move them last. We already fired the artillery, so they're going to be lagging behind. Anti-tank, I'll move that last. Here's another mech unit. This one can go all the way here if we wanted it to, but I, that's why I looked at the stack. It's 166. We don't want to overstack there, so let's take the mech there. Okay. 
Uh, the Panthers still. We've got all of these mechs. My goodness, we're moving through here. All right, what's your stack? 94. Okay, we can take one of these all the way to here. Excellent. And we'll take the next one. And we'll post up right behind there. And we'll take the next one. He can only get to here. The road is now really bogging down. Uh, so he'll go here. You can see this is where the breakthrough. We're going to try to get it. We should be able to surround all these guys if we can get through here. Sort of. Sort of, right? Uh, the Panthers, we've got the anti-air. Here's artillery. Here's the divisional headquarters. Uh, actually, the HJ headquarters. Um anti-air well i can get that up here i would really rather it be up here what we can do is take the anti-air here that is you know technically with this division i'm going to set it here so he protects all of this from any kind of air attack and then i'll take this air i could put him on movement mode is that going to get him further maybe Eh, not really. I'll set him on top of this artillery. He can help protect this artillery. We'll take him off the tracks. Okay, cool. Uh, now we just really have the auxiliary stuff and the tanks. So let's get the tank uh, groups down here, the regiments. Now we're going to be, we would be overstacked there, but not here and here, I don't think. Let's go there. All right, what's the stack here now? 177, that's fine. And he's also now protected by anti-air. Uh, he would not be here. So you know what? I'm actually, can I drive him into town? Yeah, we've got room there. Let's take this tank, put him in town. Now we've got the Stugs on the move. Uh, again, I want to get him with anti-tank. What's his stack? 21. Well, I'd put us at 198, and he would get the anti-aircraft protection, so let's put the Stugs there. Um, okay, anti-tank. Maybe I'll put this in town as well. Uh, where's that other anti-air? Is it here? Oh, it's here. Oh, gosh, he didn't get very far down here. Uh, not as far as I would have liked. Um, it's all the way back here. Eh, I'll just put this in town. Okay, here comes the divisional headquarters. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Here come the big guys. Uh, here's an right by the anti-air. Let's just put him there. Um, that's about as far as he could get. But he, we got a number of things in 100%. These guys out here outran him a little bit. They're only at 25%. Uh, artillery, we can't move. Engineers, we can. We can't move this other artillery either. We can put it, the engineers right there. And I think that's going to do it for all of those units. Really pleased with that. Uh, you know, this is, we could blow this out of here, but we've got another roadway through here anyway. Uh, two roads. Now, this is just a minor road, and that will get clogged. Uh, we want to get out here on this. Um, Oh, 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 hold on. Let me look at this. Well, we'll talk about that when we get back here next time. Uh, stay on the big roads. That's what I tell you. Uh, I'm wondering, is that railway? I'm just curious about that. I mean, it's not affected anything yet. I mean, we're all on the roads uh, everywhere. Uh, but I'm actually curious, is the red stripe rail? Yeah, I think it is. Okay, well, okay. Did, I mean, in the grand scheme, it doesn't really matter. Uh, we've been staying on the, the what look like roadways out here. I was just kind of curious. If we look here, where can we see what the road looks like? You know, what, what this is exactly. Is there some way to do that? Well, why am I asking you? I'm going to have to figure that out. It's a fortification there. Okay, good to know. 
Let's go back down here and just look at this. I mean, we're all on the road here. So again, I'm not, you know, this is major road and minor road, I think, or more rural roads. But shouldn't it tell us somewhere what kind of road it is up here? Well, I'm going to go find out. Or maybe we just have to look at the map key. Uh, <laughs> that could be a start. Uh, but I do believe this orangish red here is, is rail. Or it appears to be, well, no, maybe not. Maybe this is like super highway uh, because I see rail here. Is this like the Autobahn out here? Um, okay, well, I'm going to find out. Anyway, this has been Strategy Gaming Dojo. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, I'll kind of scoot back here and let you see the state of play. We're starting to bust out right through here. And now we've got a bunch more motorized assets. Uh, you know, this road's going to get a little clogged. We can't take them down the same road, all of them. Uh, we don't, you know, we want to stick on the major roads, but we'll see. We'll see. Maybe this is like a highway or something. Uh, I've definitely got to figure it out before next time. Anyway, I had a great time today. I hope you did too. Uh, I'll talk to you later. Have a good one.